Ah! I think that's sometimes how people feel. Maybe you feel that way because you just know you want to win. You know you have it in you to rise to the top, but you're not quite there yet. I've felt that way for years and years, but I'm going to share with you the person who just feels like, ah, I, I have it in me to be great. I want to be great. How do I do it? This, minute, this video is going to be about four or five minutes long, so buckle in. I'm going to share with you behind the scenes about what it takes to win at the highest levels and sing for the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, NCAA, for the largest crowds in America, half a million people a year, on major television networks, Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football, ESPN, CBS, Fox. But I'm a nobody. You don't even know my name. Nobody has any clue who I am. I'm not a famous person. I'm just you. I'm just you who wanted to win, so I figured out how. It's something you can do as well. I got four steps, and I got four minutes to get through them. So I do sing the national anthem for the largest crowds in America, for Monday Night Football and Thursday Night Football. I'm going to use that as, a, as an example and give you a peek uh, behind the curtain of what it is and how we got there and how you may be able, to be able to apply that in your life. First of all, first point, I give them what they want. That's what you have to figure out. You have to figure out what your customer wants, what your clients want, what your industry wants, what your boss wants. You gotta figure out what they want. As a national anthem singer, I know what they want. They want a traditional national anthem, no frills. There's 101 notes in the Star Spangled Banner as it was adapted to, you know, Francis Scott Key wrote the poem in the, in the Baltimore Harbor in defense of Fort McHenry. We adapted one of those verses to an old British drinking song. That old British drinking song is the tune that we know as the Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner has 101 notes in it. And I sing, I sing 101 notes. I don't try to hit every run on the piano like, like all of the famous pop singers. I was singing for the LA Dodgers and they told me that the most often given compliment that's emailed the day after the game is, why did you let that singer mess with my national anthem? I have been the most often given compliment I am given since I was 16 years old at the Friday night football games in Ortonville, Minnesota singing for the Ortonville Trojan football team was, Thank you for singing it the right way. People want a traditional national anthem, so that's the first point. Give your audience what they want. Give your client, your customer, your boss, your company, your industry what they want. You have to establish what that is. You have to establish it maybe through some trial and error, through some market research, through maybe some years of experience. You have to figure out what they want and give it to them. The second thing I have to say about winning and how to get to the top is you have to involve yourself in the details, in the minutia. You have to know everything there is to know about the thing that you do and the thing that you're giving, your product, your service, your industry. Victory is in the details. I have become known for being able to time the national anthem to a fighter jet flyover. Do you know how hard it is if a fighter jet is coming at 200 knots over the stadium. Do you know how hard it is to time one's national anthem to be singing the word brave and the song is over while the fighter jets roar overhead? That, 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 that takes some skill and some planning and some discipline. Because if fighter jets are coming at 200 knots over, ne over a stadium, and they're going from end zone to end zone, they're only over the stadium for about a second or 1.25 seconds. So to sing a minute and 30 second song to a tolerance of one minute and 1.25 seconds is a challenge, but I've become known for that. It's in the details. It's in timing and knowing that at the end of the word gleaming, I'm at 22 seconds. At the end of the word streaming, I'm at 41 seconds. And when I sing the word flag, it's approximately 58 to a minute. And then when, when I sing the word brave, it's a minute 29 seconds after the, the, the PA announcer said the last word of the introduction. That gives the fighter jets or the pilots a definite point in time where they know where to make their turn and then soar over the stadium at a minute 29 seconds after the last word of the PA announcer's announcement. It's in the details. I've become known for that. To my knowledge, nobody else 
who sings for the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NCAA knows how to do that. Or not, not that they don't know how to do it, it's just they haven't involved themselves in that level of detail. What are the details of your industry that you need to know? Okay, this, this, I'm sorry, this video is going to be seven minutes. Step, no, that's three, three. The thing that you need to know is that in your given industry, in your given endeavor, when you deliver what you deliver to your customers, your clients, and for your boss, you need to be known for excellence, right? You need, to, you need to show some track record of how you have proven to perform at an excellent level, at an elite level, time after time after time. Now that might take some trial and error. That might take a long journey through those first two steps, which is find out what they want, involve yourself in the details of that success. And then you have to be known for that excellence. I can show you video after video after video of me singing for the NFL and nailing the timing for the national anthem every single time. I sing the word brave and the fighter jets are roaring overhead. You can Google it or you can YouTube it. Mark J. Lindquist, national anthem. You'll see that all the time. At the College World Series, we do it every single year. For the Miami Dolphins, we do it every single year. For the Chicago Bears, we do it every single year. For the Jacksonville Jaguars, nailing it, right? We're going to do it for Monday Night Football this fall. You have to get known for excellence and have a proven track record of that. And then you have to be able to provide data, videos, testimonials, some sort of uh, corroboration. Is that, is that the word? You have to be able to, to, to prove it, to prove your level of excellence. And finally, as we wrap this video up, if you're that person who just, I want to win. How do I win? What's the formula? Do all those three things. Give them what they want. Involve yourself in the details of that success and be known for excellence. But then finally, don't be a diva. Once you find yourself on the top of the winner's podium, nobody wants to hear from a diva. If you want to build a successful business, if you want to build a successful practice and be known in your industry for top-notch services, products, and providing those, nobody wants to refer a diva. Nobody wants to send their friends, family, and colleagues to somebody who thinks they're better than they are. I don't show up asking for room temperature water and the bottle, you know, the, the cap half screwed off. I don't ask for red carpet treatment. I don't complain if there's not chicken wings in my green room. I don't complain if there's no green room. I provide my service with a smile. I tell them thank you. I express my gratitude for offering this opportunity to me because I know there's a lot of other national anthem singers out there. But then I'm able to provide that service with excellence because I involve myself in the details and I deliver a performance if they want it. That's what I think you can do. My name is Mark J. Lindquist and I'm a national anthem singer. Nobody knows who I am, but I do the thing that I do with excellence and that's why I continue to get these opportunities like I believe you can be asked to do the thing that you do time and time again by the best of the best if you do those three things. Have a great day.